Rob, what do you have to say about this dish? What do you think about it? It looks delicious. Okay, you hear that? I can't, I can't wait to eat. Okay, that's Rob. He don't play. When it comes to food, he don't play. Okay, this is a next recipe. Okay, today we are cooking oxtail. Yes, this is oxtail. So here we have five pounds of oxtail. This is the meat. Yeah. Um, and these are the ingredients we gotta use to cook our oxtail. So here we have salt, we have grace browning, we have garlic powder, we have grace oxtail seasoning, we have garlic, we have onions, we have scallion, we have thyme. And in this dish, this is a product from Jamaica. Whenever wherever I go, I carry this with me. It's a special mix. All purpose season, yes. So this is from Jamaica. I cook, so wherever I go, I carry it with me. So that's part of my flavoring. So these are the ingredients you gotta use today to cook our hogstail. So let's oh one more thing. I gotta explain. The browning, the reason for the browning, if you cook your meat sometime without browning, it look it tend to look a bit too white. And we Jamaicans don't like when meat white, so we intend to put a little browning pan to get it kinda not too dark but a bit. You know? So that's the reason for the browning. Everything else is just a regular size, a combination of the flavour. So the first thing we will do is put your tail in the pot and you will wash it, get it clean. Yeah, so you wash it and clean it up. Well, this one look good. Some are still have a lot of fat on it. This one not looking bad, you know. So it works all the same, you know, but the this part kinda so, this is good. So you wash it and get it ready. Okay, so we use four from the skeleton. We got a season, cut up this season to do the hoxtail. So I use four stalks of skeleton, one onion, a couple piece of um, thyme, and four pegs of garlic. So we're gonna cut up these. There's no rule. Oh, you have to cut this. You just cut it how you like. Same flavor. So this is cutting it, so this is one garlic, whatever shape or style, same flavor, I always remember that. Okay, one. Four pegs of garlic, yes, some people you can crush the garlic, that's Crush it and put it in, you can cut it, same flavor. Mm -hmm. So that's it. Okay, so we got the, the meat is washed and ready. So we got to put herbs and spice in it. And here we have the cut skeleton thyme, garlic and thing. So Remember this herb, the Jamaican herb, you gotta use like two spoons. Just sprinkle it over it. And then we have holy sumi. Holy sumi. Close. Finger. Close. Yeah. So we gotta use the the grey some um, still season. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the color that color. we have the Jamaican thing and this is garlic powder. We have garlic still. We use like a spoon of that. Yeah. And this is very tricky. A little salt because some of these seasons sometimes have salt in it. So there's a little salt for now. When it cook, you can taste and add what you like and if you don't need no more. And this is the browning. So we use like one. This is just for when you meat cook, you don't want it to look too white. It might look presentable for us, for you, it might be okay. So you can put on a 
Next one, tree spawn. Yeah. And then over here, let me put these skeletons and time. You guys have gloves. I don't have any gloves. I'm a rough cook. And we might have some. No, no, no. Hold it, hold it. Hold it. So, come closer. I have a bag on my hand. If you have gloves, you can use gloves. You have the team. I'm a rough cook. I just work at what close by. You know? Same thing. You can put on the gloves and look nice and decent. So, you rub it in. Brown, you make it look dark already. So that's the work for the brown. Rub it in, and then you put it down to marinate. And that's it, that's the season of the oxtail. So, this is our pot. And we gotta put vegetable oil. Some people cook with coconut oil, whatever oil you cook with, we gotta put the pot oil in the pot to hot to cook our hot steak. So we use just a little oil cover the pot bottom. Not much, just cover the pot bottom with oil. So you make the oil hot, super hot, cannot do what? The oil is hot, and here's our meat. Remember our hot steel we put to marinate. So we gotta put it in the pot. This is hot oil, be safe. The oil is very hot. So, don't just throw it in and make it get a big flat. Take the oil, take the food. This is hot oil. These are some of the, the season leaving the pot. You don't have to put that in it. I'll leave that for later on. So that's that's it. Yeah, so this is our hot steel. We put two. Tenderize, yes. Yeah, so tenderizing, the speed of the tenderizing all depends on the, the speed of your fire. So when it tenderizes, God, this is not cooked. Looking like it cook, no way near cook. But the color change and the flavoring process start get inside the meat. So now you will put water. Add water. See with me, um, my words are not properly, you know. <laughs> I'm a Jamaican, so yeah, so you had water just to cover over the meat, yes. You don't want to put too much, just to cover over the meat. So I will put some more. Yes, so our ox sale is tenderized, so now we're going to put it. And I cannot say how many minutes it will take to cook, so it's a process where you just have to check it and check it till it cooks. I cannot say it take 20 minutes, 30 minutes. It all depends on the fire. So I will show you when you cook what it's like so that's it so we cover it down cover it down make it cook all right remember we're hog stale 
yes, I think the meat is now cooked. So for me, I want to the meat cook, and I'm going to do something like this. And I pinch it and it smash. I don't know if you can see clearly. So when you pinch it and squeeze it, it easily tear. That means it is cooked. But this is it now. Now that the meat is cooked, it hasn't have that great flavor. It has flavor in it. But because it was cooking for so long, the flavor not gonna be up in it like that. So this is remember the scallion thyme onion and garlic we cut yeah this was some from what we have cut before so we had some more in the hand to bring back the flavor up so in order to make this cook to get the sauce flavorful we have to re-season the pot again so just like how we season the meat before and put it to marinade we re-season the pot again so this is it So we had season to the pot of school. Yes, yeah. yeah, so we had the scaling and time. You remember the special all purpose of SA carried me from Jamaica. We put like two more spoons. Yeah, because now the meat is cooked, you have to re-season the pot. Yeah, that's the trick. And remember the garlic powder. Yeah, they put like a spoon of that. So all the ingredients we used before marinated. When it comes to a cook, we put some in it again to bring back the flavor up. And then we put the remember the oxtail seasoning. Yeah, put a spoon of that as well. And then, hurry. So yeah, so this is just the meat didn't no cook. The flavor is weak, but the flavor is inside. So you're bringing up all the flavor in it. Yes, yeah, so you're cooking this. Season and herbs now back in it like for 15 minutes, and that's it. And done, and that's your hot stay. Add a little salt to what? Okay. Not yet. Yes, you can do. Yeah, so our hot stay has come to a final cook. Yes, yeah, so that's the hot stay. Come to a cook. So that's it. I gotta show you some in a plate and show you what it look like. But that's it. Ready to heat. Alright, so this is the finished product. Finish this. This is hot steel. Ready to eat. Ready to eat.